Hey everybody, I am Kenya and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I specifically want to talk about how to outsmart jealous and envious co-workers while in the workplace. Now, this is something that I've dealt with at the end of last year, toward the beginning of this year, and I was able to basically outsmart that person, and now I feel like I am flourishing in my workplace. Now, I did make a whole video talking about the whole situation, however, I never posted it, but if you are nosy and you would like the tea, I did make the video like unlisted, and so if you go to the description box and you click on the link, I'm going to be spilling all the tea on what was going on with this coworker, okay? <laughs> and so if you are experiencing this in the workplace, hopefully these tips will help you navigate your workspace and outsmart that jealous or envious coworker and flourish at your place of employment, okay? So first things first, when you are in a workplace and you are new, I feel like and someone else has been working there for several years, they feel like they know everything and you're new and they feel like they could tell you what to do. Even though when you apply for the job, your your job description said that you report to the director, not to other coworkers. However, they still seem to come over and try to micromanage you. And they may even try to make it difficult for you to succeed at your job and what you are doing. So I've had this happen to me. And yes, that was kind of traumatic, but I want to speak on it. I feel like especially if you are someone who is ambitious and especially if you are always dressed nicely and polished, I feel like the jealous or envious coworker will basically neg you about certain things, about what you're doing at work, you know try to make it difficult for you to succeed not wanting to help you out or basically attacking your physical appearance and that's what i was experiencing at my job where where my coworker was continuously like nagging me about things and i didn't like it because i come to work to work to you know earn a living i'm there to do a job and not to be you know bullied by other coworkers. and you know i'm a black woman in a corporate environment so first things first what i would do when my coworker would start to nag me about things or just be negative because it seems like when i would engage in conversation with her she would always counter it with something negative i would just disengage so if i'm not at my desk i'm just not going to say anything to her about it i'm not going to be like hey what would you say though i'm just going to disengage and go back to my seat or if they're at my desk and they are nagging me or like critiquing my work or whatever what i would do my favorite thing to do is i'm the master at ignoring people like that's my specialty i'm gonna go turn to my computer screen and i'm gonna start typing i don't care if i have downtime and there's nothing to do i'm gonna grab that mouse i'm gonna be opening different folders i'm gonna start going through all my emails disengage number one always disengage okay number two if you have to speak with that coworker about anything you're working on a project and they start to neg you about certain things like or you're going on vacation next week oh i would never go there this is what i would experience redirect the conversation oh so we're going to be working on these files um this is the excel spreadsheet that we're going to be doing it's going to redirect the conversation each and every time okay each and every time redirect the conversation if you must talk to this coworker. sometimes we have to work with our coworkers within group assignments or group projects so you have to talk to that coworker. redirect the conversation and if you're redirecting conversation and they're still talking about whatever after a while they're going to start to feel dumb like okay She's trying to keep it business and work related and I'm still talking about X, Y, and Z. Number three, don't react. Because like I said, if you're in a workplace with someone who's been working there for several years, you know, you being like the new kid on the block or the newbie, the rookie, you reacting, all of a sudden, now you seem to be problematic, hard to work with, hard to get along with, so do not react. The one thing I have mastered, and I feel like it comes with age as well, 
and just not reacting to people's their bullshit let's keep it 100 and so with this co-worker one thing i did not ever do was react i would just maintain a just a a poker face okay lady gaga poker face just a poker face don't even react even if they say something that's crazy wild crazy do not react because i feel like when co-workers are jealous or envious of you they're looking for you to react so that they can report it don't react do not give your co-worker a reason to want to say anything to upper management about you don't react so number four, which I think is the most important, is you want to make sure that you pull your weight at work all the time. So for my job, we have like a lot of small projects and I have a lot of hard deadlines. So I like to make sure that I'm on top of all the tasks that I'm supposed to be doing and that I meet all of my deadlines. So that this coworker is not like, oh my gosh, she missed her deadlines because you know that's what they like to do. Point out any time that you have a small mistake, they like to point it out. So I like to make sure that I am pulling my weight at work. Even in the morning, I make sure I'm at work on time. I make sure that I leave on time because these are the type of coworkers when they're jealous or envious of you, they are watching everything that you do. And you just never know, they might be writing it down. Oh, Kenya came in on Tuesday at 9.05 and not, you know, 9 a.m. She was late five minutes. Well, she left at 4.58 instead of five. So make sure that you are pulling your weight and and that you are doing everything in your power so that coworker is not able to go to upper management to report anything about you. Okay, that's what I did. And number five, of all else fails, if this coworker is not getting a hint that you don't want to be bothered, you're not interested in speaking with them, and that you're constantly disengaging with them, you're constantly redirecting the conversation, and they're just with the shits, let's keep 100. What you're going to do is you're going to ignore them, okay? When I say ignore, I'm talking about totally disengage. I'm talking about gray rock, like the psychologists like to call it. I mean, when you walk in the building, you don't see them, you don't hear them, you do not acknowledge them. They are invisible to you. You know how like when kids are acting a fool and you act like you don't see them, they're invisible and they start getting upset about it? I promise you. When you act like those coworkers are invisible and you do not see them at all, when I say the rage that goes through them, they might still report you, okay? <laughs> because that's what happened to me. This coworker got so upset that I literally just, I mean, I took, I took my energy back. This lady was not gonna get any of my energy, not a hello, not a how you doing, not a, <laughs> a polite smile. It was like she was invisible that she went to upper management and was like that she couldn't work with me because i don't like her and that she had to take off for three weeks because of me and then when she said that it came out then obviously i got to talk to upper management and let them know no and i told them all the things that occurred and that one of my coworkers also witnessed it and when i tell you i've never heard a peep from this lady again and when i tell you I feel like I've been so much more efficient at work since and work has been so much peaceful. So in her case, it sort of backfired on her to try to report me because it's like you just created a whole hostile work environment and now you are upset because you're not getting your way. You're not getting you're not getting a reaction out of me and that's what they want. And yeah, you don't let these people get a reaction out of you. Also, I wrote this down so I'm looking at my little notes because I just want to say if you are experiencing jealous or envious co-workers and I feel like I'm an older woman and the woman who is doing it to me is probably about 10 to 15 years older than me and it's like, girl. <laughs> so this is, just doesn't apply to like young professionals if you're just a new person in a workplace i feel and someone who has been working here for several years they just could be really jealous or envious of you or they could see that you are someone who's ambitious and you're gonna go far within the company or just in life and they're just mad about it so with that being said i just want to say whatever you do keep being charming keep lighting up the room keep coming into work dressed up dressed to the nines put your best on if you like to adorn yourself in jewels Every other week you have a different hairstyle, 
and this is for my black girls because you know how we do keep doing you do not let that person at your workplace dim your light you come to work and you keep your head held high you smile and you do what you have to do and you keep it pushing because you're there to earn a living and we're not about to let a jealous or envious co-worker ruin our livelihood we are there to do a job we are there to advance in our careers and just go far and so i hope that my advice um was helpful to any of you ladies that are going through this it sucks to come to work and have to deal with people who are just not pleasant at all and um yeah so if you have made it to the end of this video i would just like to thank you guys for coming to kick it with me so don't forget to click the link in the description box to find out all the tea honey all of the tea and i will see you in my next youtube video toodles